Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Bhav Automation Lab once again. And uh, in this online video session, let's try to learn one more important topic related to the BDD Cucumber and uh, feature file. It's called as a background. Okay. Uh, while working with the uh, real-time uh, automation concepts, we require to use this concept on a regular basis. Okay. So understand it properly. Before starting uh, the, the practical sessions, uh, I want to explain you some theoretical part related to the background and feature file uh, in a feature file. So background is the special part from the feature it's called as a background okay whatever feature file we are you are creating this background is the special part okay always remember this this these things we'll see this practically everything but let's understand uh, theoretically first so you will get the just simple picture about the background okay you are allowed to background okay you are allowed to have a, only one background in the one feature file always remember you can write only one background in the one feature file okay then background purpose what is mean uh, why we require to like use the background okay so it's a way to cover various scenario using one single blueprint you have you not need to repeat that one we'll see this practically okay how it will cover the various scenarios in one single blueprint it's that okay the background helps make the things easier understand in the feature file okay while we writing the gherkin syntax and gherkin language this background keyword will be help you to understand uh, the what think you are exactly developing in the e easier way okay so people from the technical and non technical background also easily understand uh, what you are exactly writing in the gherkin syntax in this plain english simple so it so uh, it's for a setting up a common common it's uh, setting up a common starting point for the scenario okay every time we are creating the scenario it's it's setting up a common starting point for the every scenario okay and some tips for the simplicity of background okay always remember this tips while writing the background in the feature file so keep the background simple don't make it complicated every time uh, background should be in simple way okay and it's all about uh, describe the business context not a user actions always remember uh, when like uh, we have writing the previous session also we have seen that ki, uh, whenever you are using any actions in the uh, steps okay like when given and everything so given is always precondition and when you are providing the action right so in background also we will write only contains business contains not a user actions okay so whatever user actions we will uh, just add that in the scenario steps itself okay so let's understand what is the background length so background length should be short not more than four lines always remember if you write uh, more than four lines in the background uh, for each scenario so it will like lose your readability of your feature file so always remember that it, it's not compulsory things in the uh, like uh, cucumber perspective or this uh, feature file perspective as well it will not throw you any error but guys this uh, will more important while we we working with the bdd cucumber we you should be write a feature file in the very readable and uh, the context of the feature file it can be easily understood for everyone so it should be short uh, like short not more than four files in the background okay and short and sweet is the our goal okay so let's understand more some steps like a background and scenario length so if you are uh, use a background keep your scenario short short why we require to short the scenarios i'll uh, give the practical example of this if you are using background we need to require to keep our scenarios very shorts okay and how we background works so background gets the things ready before each scenario every time uh, before every scenario background get executed and uh, before we executing the scenario it will uh, like uh, uh, get things whatever things we required to run that scenario with uh, ready and no need to repeat the common step in the scenario all the scenario no, if you are writing five scenarios all the common things will we will write in the background itself we not required to write it again and again in the every scenario so benefit of using background is your feature files become easier to read okay and you don't have to do some things over and over again and again in each scenario changes to the common step are made in the one place it's called as a background simple so let's understand all these concepts practically first okay uh, so let's go to the eclipse we have uh, here 
uh, in the previous uh, sessions example we have created this feature file for atm transaction to understand uh, background in the better way we'll create a, a, another uh, like example of feature here okay so i'll just remove this one uh, from here and uh, let's create a uh, one more feature like login with application okay so this is our uh, new feature well we create I'm going to create some scenarios for example let's say i'll create one first scenario is scenario login user let's say with uh, let's say valid credentials Okay, and uh, let's say create some step for this, like given given is like application is running. Okay, and uh, let's say and user is on, let's say login page. Okay, when user enter uh, like their valid credentials, uh, credentials, let's say, and user clicks click on login button okay and it's a button okay and then user should be Let's say redirect redirected to the dashboard with welcome message. Okay. Or you can create uh, like another step for this also. User should be see welcome message. It's like a uh, user, user should see welcome message. Okay. So this is one scenario we have created. Uh, and let's say uh, create another scenario. I'll just copy this one and uh, I'll paste it here. And scenario two, login with invalid credentials. Invalid credentials. And uh, just type here like uh, invalid credentials. Okay and uh, clicks on login button then user should be uh, user should not direct uh, redirect to the direct uh, direct redirect to the dashboard okay uh, here user in then user should see let's say error message okay let's remove this and so we have two uh, like uh, scenarios here okay what common thing in this that scenarios is user is on the uh, user is on application is running and user is on the login page application is running user is on the login page two things are common here okay let's create a uh, step definition file for this scenarios first okay i'll running this as a cucumber feature and uh, we'll get all the step definition which will be required okay I'll, for the understanding purpose i'll just add that uh, all the step in the same uh, step definition file here atm step definition file okay and just i'll remove this all the throws declarations from here as we are not implementing it i will just understanding the background concept right so i'll just removing this uh, thing from here okay and uh, 
okay so here so what happening here in the two both two scenarios uh, i'm writing the same step again and again right if this this is the case in your feature file so the background is the coming to the picture okay so how to use the background so before scenario we'll use the keyword like a background ground okay and in this background these always capital just remember that things okay so background and i'll remove this two steps from here as this is the common in the uh, both like scenarios okay and remove from here as well okay so the common thing in the background will be get executed in the ones before every scenario. So here we have a 11 step get executed, right? Okay. So when we like run this program, uh, now again, if, when we are writing this common things in the background, so you can see 11 step out, uh, again get, get executed and two scenarios executed. 11 steps pass as we have implemented that step definition file as well. So we can write a background here, right? Simple. So while we are using the background, if you have some common things in your uh, scenarios, we can keep it into the background itself, right? And so let's understand this is the steps, uh, steps what we have defined here, okay? So keep background simple, don't make it complicated. More than four steps, we should not write in the background. It's here is two steps only, right? Uh, more than four lines in the background. It's it uh, like lose the readability part okay and background feature if you are using background keep uh, your scenario short means what we need to do like we have to write a short scenarios here not more than like a four to five scenarios in this in this way like that okay so we need to when we are writing the feature file and we have more than scenarios and very big scenarios so we need to scroll up every time with as the see the common thing in the background again scroll down and write something again scroll up so it will like uh, lose our readability part in the background so always keep in the mind that the background uh, when you use background you should uh, like keep your scenario in short and how the background is works so background get things is ready before catch uh, each of the scenario so here we have implemented that background and uh, before we executing this scenario our things is getting ready in the background part itself every time it will execute before every scenario so let's understand the things uh, here no need to repeat the common step in every scenario so we not required to write this uh, steps in every scenario so it will write written in the background part itself. So this is the background, how backgrounds works and background benefits we have already seen like is a feature file become easier to record, read and you don't have to, uh, to do the same things over and over again and uh, change to the common step are made in the one place of the background. So if you require to change anything in the uh, in these two steps, okay, so we can write uh, change here itself and it will automatically apply for the all scenarios. So no need, not need to right again and again okay so one thing i'll give you one more suggestion you don't you need to write only business contents here not need to, to write actions like when user enter the their valid credentials this is the action right user is performing action right adding some credentials so that action should not be right written in the background itself so this tips we need to understand while writing with the background and while working with the feature file so whatever business contents you just need to write here in the background itself Okay, so this is all about the background in the BDD Cumber feature file. If you have any doubt related to, the, to this, you can just comment out me. Okay, and uh, I'll give the answer all related to your comments. Okay, and don't forget to share, uh, share, subscribe, and like Bahu Automation Lab. Also share with your colleagues, friends, both uh, the friends, if they are want to learn like automation practically. Okay, so that's in this. That's it in this part. Let's. Uh, learn more concept related to the to the bdd cucumber in the next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care